Welcome to Raw Online. Today we are going to see a very important topic, the macrophage activation syndrome. Okay. So this is one basic slide. You need to know what cells are involved in innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Okay. So let's not go detail into it. So let's go to the macrophage activation syndrome. So now we have a macrophage. So macrophages are nothing but basically antigen presenting cells. Okay. So whenever a foreign object, a virus, a bacteria or a fungus presents inside the body, the macrophages tends to uh, engulf these antigens. Okay, So macrophages are nothing but antigen presenting cells. So once the antigen goes inside the macrophage, okay, they get destroyed through the lysosomes and phagosomes. Okay, So after destruction, the myeloperoxidase enzymes which is present inside the macrophages will clear out all the debris as well. Okay. This is how on level 1, the macrophages will take care of all the antigens which is present inside, the foreign antigens present inside the body. What you need to know is that there are certain stimulus that can switch the macrophage into a good macrophage and a bad macrophage. To tell in medical terms, I can say macrophages can be converted into a pro-inflammatory cytokine producing macrophage or anti-inflammatory cytokine producing macrophage. Okay. To describe in detail, if you take this as M0, okay, with adequate stimulus, this can be converted into either M1, so that that secretes more amount of inflammatory cytokines or pro-inflammatory cytokines, or it can get switched towards M2, that is anti-inflammatory cytokine producing macrophages. It depends upon what stimulus it is. Okay, so in our scenario, this topic is concerned. We are going to look into the pro-inflammatory cytokine producing type of macrophage. Okay, So once adequate stimulus like LPS, the lipopolysaccharide of the gram-negative organisms, the tumor necrosis factor, alpha, all these things. So when such kind of stimulus pushes the macrophage towards getting switched to M1 variety, that is pro-inflammatory type of macrophages, lot of chemokines, cytokines will be produced. Okay, So these cytokines and chemokines will cause something called as a cytokine storm, okay, excessive amount of chemokine or cytokines are produced. So when lot of chemokines or cytokines are produced, they ultimately result in individual organ damage, okay, put together they will cause multi-system or multi-organ failure, okay. So this is what we call as macrophage activation syndrome, okay. So this kind of reflexes is usually kept under check by two other cells, one is the NK cells, natural killer cells. And second is the CTL cells, cytotoxic T cell lymphocytes. Okay, so these are the two cells which is responsible to control this overactivation of macrophages. Okay, so what this NK cells and CTL cells does is that they usually check out with this kind of cells which has an antigen inside. For example, there is a cell and it has an antigen inside. They have engulfed the antigen and they are not able to clear out that antigen. In that case. The NK cell and TLC cell, they go and destroy the entire cell itself. Okay, you got it. So, the hyperactivated macrophages usually should be destroyed by the NK cells and CTL cells. If they are also not functioning properly, ultimately we get the macrophage activation syndrome. Okay, so number one, the macrophage should be activated by a proper stimulus. And second, that activation should be extremely high to produce a cytokine storm and third, the proper check mechanism by the NK cells and CTS cells is also very much less. All these things put together, you get something called as a macrophage activation syndrome. Okay, so this is what I was trying to explain you that we have a macrophage. If there is an adequate proper stimulus in terms of interferon gamma or TNF alpha, uh, GM CSF, LPS from uh, gram negative organisms. All these things which switch the M0 macrophages to M1 macrophage. So once they produce M1 macrophages, they let out lot of cytokines like uh, IL-1B, IL-6, IL-12, IL-23, TNF alpha. All these things. Okay. So we have a specific drug to control this IL-6. Okay. We'll see those drugs in our following slides. And certain stimulus can convert this M0 macrophage into this kind of M2 macrophages. Okay like IL-4, IL-13, these can switch the macrophage into M2 macrophage, okay. M2 macrophages will produce like IL-10, TNF, uh, beta, these are all anti-inflammatory, these are all pro-inflammatory, 
So, this is what you need to understand. A macrophage can be switched between a pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory. I am using the word switched, not converted, meaning that these are also get, can get converted, okay, mutually. Uh, once they have become M2 macrophages, still they can go into M1 as well because if there is a proper stimulus, this M2 macrophages also can be converted into M1 whereas the M1 macrophages also can be converted to M2. So, this switching can occur, okay.